Good morning, YouTube family, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I know in the last video I said it's going to be a while until I get the new video up, but when the video comes up, it's going to be completely worth it. And that is because we are doing a Ghanaian family reunion. As you know, my sisters used to live in Ghana, my brother, my dad still lives on and off throughout Ghana, and we have all met up again, except my one sister couldn't join because she's super heavily pregnant. But the other sister you haven't seen probably on the channel for a couple years. So it's super great to have them back on. We are just all loving spending some quality time together. And I just cannot wait to take you all along, show you what we get up to. It is now really early. I can see my family already sitting down at the breakfast table, getting ready. I'm looking directly at this absolutely beautiful sunrise. You probably won't be able to see it too well, but maybe I'll flip the camera around and show you there's a beautiful sunrise happening in the back but i'm just super excited to be making youtube videos again to showcase everything with you to take you all and just share this Ghanaian reunion with you all so sit back relax enjoy the video and thank you guys once again for all the support And then just how beautiful is this breakfast spot? You can either sit inside or you can sit outside. It's half past six, the rest of the family's coming down. You can see my mom right there. And then it completely overlooks the whole track. Yes, we are one of the families that wake up at 6.30 and then just keep on going the whole day, but absolutely beautiful. You can see my dad also just arrived now. And then in the morning, they start training the horses that run around the track. It's a little bit overcast today, so you cannot see, but the sun is peeping up there. So always around about half past six, it comes up, but just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. We are ready for a really special day. Take you all along with, show us what we get up to. You can see the city skyline in the background. So it's feeling super grateful, very, very blessed, and just an absolutely incredible scene to wake up to in the morning. So with that being said, it's early, need to go grab some coffee, grab some orange juice and dig into the food, but just absolutely beautiful. They also have uh, the local bird in the UAE. The man will come bring it out, the falcon, and he will fly it. So while you're eating breakfast, you can see the falcon flying. It's just absolutely incredible. We are now at Aquaventure Atlantis, the palm. This is where we're going to be spending the afternoon. I'll come and show you the cabana that my mom very graciously rented out for us because if you have a child and a big group of people like we are, it's always very hectic to be around people, especially when you have a five month old baby, not mine, my sisters, that likes to be very vocal sometimes. 
but we have like access right now we can just walk straight in here so that's one of the awesome things about the closed off cabanas you have a butler you have your own towels you have water food absolutely everything the aqua venture is amazing as i said it's on the top of the palm if everyone's been here you'll know what it's like and then you have your private beach and everything also so it's around nine o'clock in the morning quarter past nine because that's when it's open it's also a uk public holiday so this place is going to be packed because there's so many people from the uk here they also have the highest water slide in the world you can't really see it but it is lurking through the background there so let me quickly take you and show you some of the cabana so as i said you just carry on walking through we had cabana number 25 so if anyone wants to book cabana number 25 it's also completely secluded you can see the babas my sister her husband my mom then it's my sister my, my brother and his girlfriend over there my dad's just gone to get changed but you have these amazing palm trees everywhere around and you also know that it is a nightmare to try and get these trees when it's super busy so we just got two doubles two singles so we can go and do the rides and everything like that so as i said you have all the seating area that goes around so we have i think eight individual ones then you have two seating areas a really big double bed there and then this is the whole area so if we need to get anything we can just call the waiter you can also pay your bill cancel your service there's a place to charge your phones everything inside here also we have a cooler box and inside there is just filled with water like refreshments and everything like that and then a little bit later i'm sure they will bring out some fresh fruit but really really beautiful and then you have a lifeguard right there and the lazy river wrapping around our cabana is literally just down there you walk down straight on and onto the beach you have atlantis the palm one of the most luxurious sought after resorts i could say even in the world some advertisements and then you have the skyline of dubai in the background these are just absolutely insane these are not hotels these are all houses and then you see the Burj Al Arab down there. I think it's the most starred hotel in the world. Absolutely crazy. There's a new hotel, Atlantis. I think it's the Royale. I may be mistaken. Beyonce did an opening performance there. Got some of the family out here. And then you can also just come down onto the beach, have a walk around. Initially, I was going to swim. I brought some goggles because I thought it could be really great. But I realized there's actually like these dividers and you cannot go out of these areas. So it will be a little bit hard to get a decent swimming. But really, really beautiful, beautiful beaches. Look, a uh, boat going along there. And then you can see some of the AquaVenture water slides and everything. So really beautiful, really quiet right now. But they said they're predicting around 7,000 visitors today. So it is going to get absolutely insane. But a beautiful beautiful start to the day and to think this is all made on a man-made island just makes it that much more impressive. We have just got back from doing some of the rides. I'm making sure I stay out of the sun. Even got SPF 100 sun cream. Didn't even know it was possible. My mom is just busy feeding. Clarissa in the background there. Because if you see where my dad is, we just ended up getting a whole lot of hamburgers and everything like that. They're also bringing us a fruit platter, which we cannot wait for because the fruit is always so delicious here. Not as good as the food you get in local, or locally in Ghana, the fruit platter. But you can see, our whole area here is still really nice and quiet. The rest of the park is really pulling up. I ended up doing a double ride, me and my dad. We were like 40 kgs over the maximum weight allowance, but they didn't mind, they let us do it. So we got some insane speeds, but it's just been an absolutely wonderful morning. My sister and Mick, you'll see, they are just walking somewhere back there. There they are, coming through the crowd. They just went to the beach. So now we're just gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy some lunch. You can see 
behind us how much fuller it is right now it's been an absolutely wonderful day i took about a two hour nap put a lot of spf 100 on so the dubai sun was quite generous to me clarissa is in a very very cute like emirates onesie so we're just taking some photos because you have the burj al arab somewhere in the background here and it's just a really really great setting but beaches are picking up the music's been going back in the background so all in all it's been an absolute vibe we're going to go take the taxi now head home and then we have some horse racing tonight as you saw in the hotel it has a beautiful horse racing track they're doing the sand track and they're doing the grass track tonight so it's going to be great fun there's also like this balloon thing somewhere in the background there that you can pay there it is that you can pay to go up and i don't think we're going to do that but it's time to end atlantis for today and head back To very quickly showcase our room and then also showcase the horse racing so we have these like really amazing very big bathrooms with shower jacuzzi bath overlooks the room and then outside here we have set up all the snacks there's also a little mini bar going on there so we have some cheese some pen chocolate some nuts and some rolls some drinks and everything some strawberries also we have some other horse racing going on in the middle east on the tv and then when we make our way out here me and my mom and my dad are the first ones here so we have got the front row seats but then you come and take a look out here you can see you can see the parade ring way in the distance down there the dubai city skyline everyone also is setting up here they also have some events going on downstairs so that is going to get really festive just now they just did the first race where they ran on the sand track or the all-weather track and now they're going to be taking it on to the big one which we cannot wait for because we're going to have a really amazing view to see them run around so this is pretty much our view and where we're going to be spending the next couple of hours and it's quite nice that all of us have like subsequent rooms next to each other so it also makes it really amazing we've taken our chairs and that to put them outside but pretty cool to have a hotel that overlooks the racetrack here in Dubai. I am just got back to my room right now. It was a super lovely evening. I'll play the video on the screen right now of my sister and a little baby in the Ghanaian outfit. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was super, super, super cute. We're going to get up again at around half past six in the morning. Actually, six o'clock, got to be downstairs, quarter past six. The races are still going out. It's been so much fun in the uae it's actually illegal to gamble normally in south africa or other countries you'll go put some bets on even if they're small amounts because it's just so so much fun but because it's not we just had like a little thing in our in one of the hotel rooms guessing like who's going to place where he's going to place where then overall add up all the points to see where they finish but i'm now going to jump into bed it's going to be cool because we're still going to be able to see some of the horse racing if i sleep with the the curtains open and then we see what the rest of the day brings
morning YouTube family. It is another absolutely beautiful day at Archer in Dubai. You can see the Burj Khalifa in the background. 6.58 tee off time. Absolute scenes. We are not playing the best golf, but we are definitely having an amazing time. Got a couple birdies, got a couple pars. Busy playing team golf with my dad. You can hear it is super windy, but absolutely loving life Archer. Like, how can you not be happy? Waking up to a view like that, rocking the Emirates golf shirt. My dad's in the back, he's been carrying us some of the holes because he's playing better ball. But it's a great morning, been up since five o'clock, warmed up. And now let's finish the round of golf. This is a look of the pool area. As I said, it overlooks the racetrack. Just down here, you have the golf course that we were playing on a few hours ago. And then you can see it's actually really, really busy today. Myself and my dad have just put ourselves up there. We'll see if the rest of the family comes up, but also down there, there's like a beach bar and everything. And then a flow room pool that overlooks, actually this is the back end of Dubai, just around the corner there actually, you can see the Burj Khalifa just sticking around they've got some change rooms and some washrooms down there all in all the massive wing of the horse racing track so last night this is where all the racing was taking place but an absolute absolute vibe of an area lots of people going it almost has like a beach club type situation and location quite a few people in the pool so just going to sit back relax and take in the next couple hours of sun with only a couple clouds in the sky. We have now finished at the pool, went back down, got some room service, got some lunch and then come back much much later and you can see the view is absolutely beautiful, mix already in the water. We've got the whole family here, everyone here, we've got a little baby Clarissa, we've got the little princess, say hello YouTube, Clary, hello princess, she just wants to eat everything and play with absolutely everything. But we're just going to spend the evening up here it's already around half past five there's still a few people out here or just catching a tan and everything like that but as i said flow room pool overlooking the racetrack absolutely beautiful it's just been so nice we're actually going to go to either the mall of the emirates or dumar mall as you know they're just absolutely insane but for a saturday night we're just like it's probably not the best thing to do why would you rather just get some beautiful family time also as i said earlier with the bar they actually have seats inside there where you can sit and enjoy but it's just absolutely absolutely beautiful you can also see the Burj Khalifa in the background showing off and peeking through but this is where I'm gonna be
and just like that we are back again this is the private first class and business class terminal you can see it's very quiet right now but it's completely isolated from the other terminal which is really nice the service and everything quite rightfully so if you're paying full class fares it's really really worth it the rest of the family is staying another day or two in dubai but i had to come back for work so just threw my clothes on gonna go to the counter now obviously i'm flying on a staff ticket so i'm hoping they'll be able to check me in otherwise i have to wait for an hour or so before the gate closes and then only after that will i be able to then be able to get a proper seat or make sure that i'm actually getting on the flight so fingers crossed because tomorrow is the start of the work week don't want to miss another day but it is really peaceful really quiet here just give you a quick little spin you can see dubai they don't hold any cost back it's absolutely beautiful but let's try and get on the plane now it was an absolutely mad rush but i'm super super happy that i was actually able to get on because the flight is super super full they also have flight load restrictions so there were three seats seats left three in first class I was priority one, so I got one of them. Super, super happy. The crew has been amazing, taking care of me. I'm gonna now throw some of these pajamas on and then I'm just gonna sit back, maybe watch some movies and get ready for a busy week of work. Also, for people that have never flown the Game Changer, it is just absolutely massive. After this, I will show you the seat also, but it's really, really big compared to all the other bathrooms. A380, obviously you cannot compare because you have showers and you can, I've even had a workout in there before. Whenever you're flying to Sydney, Australia, I just bring some band, do some push up sit up. So with that being said, if you're still watching at this point, thank you so, so much. I appreciate all the support. I know it's a little bit different to what we usually do, normally showcasing a lot of Ghanaian content, but it was super nice. As you know, my whole family lives in Ghana and have lived in Ghana, the ones that are now living all out so all over the world. So it was super nice to have everyone together, finally meet my niece, see you in Ghana and clothing. It was just absolutely super special. So we're gonna throw everything on and then leave you off with some B-roll flying out of Dubai, heading back to Belgium, and then hopefully in a few months, be back in a Ghana. So thank you all so much for the support. I will see you all in the next video.